Veronica, it's a great to uh, have a chat with you today. It's, we can <laughs> welcome a, a member of the jury today. And uh, of course, uh, as a guest, I have many uh, questions for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious to hear them. <laughs> yeah. First of all, as, as a director who also directs genre movies, mm -hmm. uh, do you feel it's, imp it's important that you see all those films that are produced every mm -hmm. year? Yes, all I kind of put in my film I've learned from watching films actually. So I've never went to film school, I'm an autodidact, so I think it's very very important to see the films they are currently made, but also to see like films they have been made like in, like in film history and so I especially enjoyed also the retrospective view you have here. Yeah, totally. We uh, are, are often run into you at the retrospective movies, and uh, we we propose several retrospectives. Uh, the Universal Monsters one. Did you get to no, a I chance to? No, because because funny enough, because I know that Universal is redoing all these films. Mm -hmm. Now they're remaking it. Yeah. So uh, I kind of looked at them like recently, all of them actually. I kind of rewatched them at home, so I didn't go to your retrospective <laughs> because yeah. I kind of really know them. But I went to the other one, to the kind of serial killer. Yeah, the uh, focus. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yeah. That leads to another question. Universal asked you to do one of the new ones? No, <laughs> some agent proposed us. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, there's, we, there's nothing to talk about actually. Yeah, so, you know, they send you all kind of scripts. Uh, if you kind of, uh, if you enter this world of Hollywood and um, agents, they kind of get you all kind of scripts. So I've read like the new Friday, the 13th script they are going to do. Um, I kind of, yeah, I, I'm talking to the people who want to do another episode of Halloween. So if once you kind of enter this world, you kind of, <laughs> yeah, no. Of course. And so you rather come, come to see the M from other retrospective. Yes. When you come to that kind of retrospective, are you rather looking to see movies you don't know about, well, you only heard of, or rather, or even to see yeah. movies you really know, but on the big screen? Actually both, both. actually both. Yeah. I've never seen M, for example, on a big screen, uh, so I tried to go there, and uh, but I, I also saw films I've never, I've never seen, like Michael Mann's Manhunters, uh, I've never seen, and I was very impressed by it, and I also saw... No, I saw that. That's another one, a direct gentle film, but it's yeah. not in the in the in the serial killer. Um, it could be. It could be. Yeah. <laughs> yes, all of his films actually, yes. almost all of his films could be in there too. <laughs> yes. No, so it's half half. So I'm I'm always prepared to discover something yeah. I've I've missed. You know, you there are so many films around, you can't see all of them, but I also kind of if I have the chance to watch something on the big screen. Uh, I'm going to do that. I'm especially proud that there was also one Austrian film in the retrospective, which is Angst exactly. by, Ger by Gerhard Kagel, which I think is a very, very good film. And in, in Austria, it's underestimated. It's, it's very famous here in France, but it's not famous in Austria at all. Yeah, it's uh, it was a great success the screening actually. I don't yes. know if you came. No, I didn't. No, I yeah. can't because I have seen it like three times, and we kind of when we shot Good Night Mommy, we thought of the same cinematographer okay. for our film as a reference to Angst by Gernot by, by Gerhard Kagel, but we couldn't get a hold of, on, on him, so I we, we didn't use him. So it was a big success. So yeah, 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 yeah. The screening was a big success. Yes. Yeah, people people loved it, and they were of course talking about the music when they. Yes. Yeah, when I left the room. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, no, it was a really a great success. It's it's great to bring this movie to people as they most of them never heard of it. Yes, yeah. that, that that that's really it's, it, that that's this kind of discovery you can make. It's like it's from I don't know, it's thirty years old or how uh, old is it? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, nineteen eighty-three. Yes, eighty-three. So, yeah. and in Austria it was a big scandal when it kind of premiered. People hated it, and because it was such a disturbing film, and Austria is very much into art film but not into genre film, yeah. so it's kind of uh, it was kind of tough for the director and he has never made another feature film because of that because he was so hurt by the reactions the audience kind of 
head towards the film and the critics and still he doesn't want the film to be screened in Austria. Really? Yes, and there is no Austrian DVD. They tried to kind of uh, put the film on DVD in Austria, there's no DVD. So we it's have to buy the French one. I think yeah. in, in France we, we have a, yes, yes, we have a great one. Yes, yes. Don't, don't tell our audience. Yes. We want, to, <laughs> want them to come again to see it at no, the festival. No, it's yeah. a really great film. So it's, it's still, uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's magically in its cinematography. And, um, and the, the leading character, he's still around in Austria. He's a very crazy guy. Yeah. And he's a very good actor, actually, Evan Lida. Yeah, totally. And um, you, you come to see new movies, old movies. Do you often get ideas, inspiration? Yes, actually, I very often get inspiration, but not if I'm going on purpose there to get inspiration. It's, 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 it, to me, it's very often a surprise when it happens that you get an idea for an own film or a script you're working on because you have problems, you work on the script, you don't know, you have to... And then a film which is not related at all maybe to the substance of the film I'm working on kind of gives you new ideas. That's, that's, that's very, very nice. That's good. Also literature does that actually. It's not only film, literature does that too. <laughs> okay, so even, if, even when you work, you still uh, keep on watching films, reading... I try to watch a film a day actually. Okay. Uh, mostly it, yes, all mostly old films then because yeah. I, I I'm a frequent goer to the Viennese Film Museum mm -hmm. and they have like always retrospectives. Now they have the French Polar. They have uh, the detective films from the 60s and 70s. The like French the Melville movies. Or? Not only yeah, Melville, Yves Boisset. Okay. Uh, so I I kind of caught a lot of them. I really like them, and uh, yeah, so that. Yeah, Melville is the most famous one, but there are, is a lot of people after Melville. Yeah, they are so maybe not so well, so kind of famous, but they are still very good. Exactly. And let's talk about uh, genre cinema. Um, we try to, to, to present uh, selection movies with very different sensibilities. Yes. Uh, as you could see, we have like uh, Korean zombie films or really experimental French yes. film. Um, and we feel now our job is quite easy because <laughs> we just, like, genre is everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. What do you, what That's do you, true. What do you art think film kind of <laughs> 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 captured, uh, or art film kind of found out that genre is a good way to, uh, to tell a suspenseful story yeah. and it still can be art. I mean, to me, it's always, for me, always genre film was kind of art because if it's a good genre film, it tells you something about human beings, about society, about politics. And that's what I like because it's, it's a genre film, it's entertaining, it's, it's, it's suspenseful, it gets to me and it still has something to say. Uh, and I really like that idea. And so, um, yeah, so I don't have to be like art house films, they, um, they don't have, you know, they pretend to be art sometimes and are not. And uh, so they can be boring and still say, yeah, we are art house film, we don't have to be suspenseful. And I don't like that, actually. So I rather say it's a genre film and put some, you know, some try to be very, very precise with it and try to kind of add all imagination I've got. And then it's maybe also a little bit art, but I kind of like that it still should entertain people. Yes. <laughs> Uh, of course. And but it's not a tradition in Austria, actually. <laughs> but Michael Haneke also uses genre. Of, of course, course, he of does. Course. Yeah, if you... Um, I, I mean... I, I don't know... The, well, you know the film Caché? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's, it's quite... It's Caché, really, but also it's on really war. I mean, the, I mean, the guy kills his wife. Yes. <laughs> in yeah, the end, I, I, so... I, I, well, he, we, he just uses we just spoiled it, like... <laughs> <laughs> No, no, but well, it's... Yeah. And Funny Games so, is the most famous yeah, one. Yes, totally. But, uh, you know, uh, people sometimes kind of, they always ask us, you know, as we come from Austria, about Funny Games and Michael Hunting, yeah. and I always tend to say, okay, I really love his craftsmanship, and I think he's a really very precise filmmaker, and he knows what he's doing. But, you know, Funny Games actually is a film against horror films. 
it's a moral like it's a moral tale against uh, you know this kind of scares yeah. and I don't share that at all so I'm 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 I don't want to be moralistic in yeah. fi with films so that's uh, so I'm not kind yeah. of yeah, funny with, game. with him in that yeah <laughs> funny games were, was really a reflection on the, on genre yes and at the same time Wim Wenders did as quite a similar movie that's called The End of Violence which is also a real uh, it, yeah. it's a real reflection on John also okay. uh, they came out like two months separate. really? yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, well people just remember Funny Games because well it was such a shock yes yeah But it's so funny because I th I'm, I'm not sure if he's aware that he has a big uh, like fan community uh, within the genre, uh, the, the genre world. M uh, maybe he doesn't want to. Yes. Maybe, <laughs> maybe it kind of bothers him. Yes. That's, uh, because the others didn't like the film so much, the art film community. Yes, it's, it's weird that we have like those communities still. Yeah. As genre is uh, kind of... Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, maybe it's also because Europe, you know, Europe focused on art house film, actually, I yeah. think, because the, the Hollywood kind of made all these uh, genre films and entertaining films, so we had to kind of focus on something, at least Austria did. So what they did is, uh, you know, they, the, the, the film funds concentrate on art films, and yeah, because they say, okay, we are kind of funding art, we are not funding, like, commercially uh, commercially orientated films but the, the, the thing is um, also the commercial commercially oriented film need funding because they can't you know they can't make their money back so uh, we have I think we have to have both and uh, yeah but I think genre films have a hard time yes in, in Europe especially and well we have another section that's called crossover films. yes yeah Did, did you get to see some yet? I, no. I don't think so. Okay, it's n not precisely genre movies, but it's movies that are have, uh, in between. In between, mm -hmm. and we really love those movies, and uh, we we want to show them. And people come often and, oh, okay. and tell us um, this movie could have been in competition. Okay. Yeah. So it, it just shows that. But I think the competition, as I'm a member of the jury, is yeah. quite a good mixture of there are more art films, there are more like, um, yeah, there like there's one science fiction film almost, there's one detective film, so there are more bloody films. I think it's a it's quite a good mixture of different kind of you know. Yeah, we in Strasbourg we have a, we live in a great city with a lot of students and a great university. And that allows us to have that kind of selection, yes. really wide, and uh, with various sensibilities. And you also have nice cinemas, I mean nice yeah. theatres, because if I think of Vienna, uh, because we also have a fantastic film festival there, yeah. but it has only one cinema, and I kind of couldn't think of another where they could play, you know, within a certain area. Okay. And I think that's very, very nice here, that you can kind of walk from one theatre to the other within... <laughs> within like a couple of minutes and it's a very, yeah, very, very uh, uh, jolie city. <laughs> <laughs> yes, totally. And we, we also feel our audience grows with us, you know, they, they well, because, um, and uh, we can see it with the, um, uh, with the audience price, you know, there is a mm -hmm. price that's given by the mm -hmm. audience and a few years ago, uh, it went to movies like Dead Snow, and really mm -hmm. fun movies. Mm -hmm. And last year it went to The Lobster. Oh, really? It's yeah. a fun movie too. It's a fun movie, but uh, <laughs> we felt like it's, it was uh, surprising yes. that uh, such a movie won, did, yes. did one. And maybe this year it's also going to go to uh, uh, a movie that could be called our Art House movie. Oh. Okay. Well. You already know? No, I don't know. Of course not. <laughs> not all the movies have been shown. Have you already counted? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, not at all. And all the movies uh, have not been revealed yet. Mm -hmm. But uh, we are just really uh, looking forward to mm -hmm. yours. No, I think the selection is very fine. I mean, it's, it's like uh, they're very high quality films. And uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was a kind of, kind of had three to four films every day <laughs> to watch. I wasn't prepared for that, actually. Really? I wanted to work a little bit here okay. to write. <laughs> yeah, that's a great compliment for us. If you, can't, <laughs> yeah, if you cannot leave the, the screening yes. room. It's great for us, you know. <laughs>